This is Pokemon Trio 12721. I wish it wasn't a real sport. I wouldn't have all the head knocks I do now. <laughs> Five times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And five. Top is water, bottom is electric. Of course, this is a little three box break of all the, um, okay, I've lost my mouse, there it is, of uh, the three most recent sets, which have all been a lot of fun. Let's save it, and here we go. What has been your favorite set of the recent thing? It's hard to beat Crown Zenith. It is. Honestly, I reckon Crown Zenith's pretty high, just with all the art is really yeah. cool. Um, controversial, but I did really like Evolving Skies just yes. because I love evolution. So well, that's it. Kind of speaks uh, like peaks and falls in popularity. Like people are like yeah. desperate for it, then they don't care, then they're desperate for it again. Like they're desperate for it, but they know they're probably not going to pull anything good. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm a I'm a big fan of uh, battle styles. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Which is you know probably the least liked set, but one it has cricket tune and two. Big fan of fighting types, so... That is fair. Uh, Pet Lil. Oh, listen, I... Oh, yeah, there was a few, like, Professor Rowans and stuff. Colrus. Definitely wasn't too bad. Registeel. And Beedrill V. Nice. The, um... It's always weird which Pokemon get a bit of extra love. Like, Beedrill always seems to. Butterfree, not so much. Stunfisk, Reverse Hollow. Video on like what the most popular Pokemon was Over by country Kelly, yeah. a while ago, oh. which I thought was really interesting. Um, not at all what I expected. I yeah, like Australia has a weird one, Kranidos. Yeah, I can't remember what Australians Australia's was. I think America's was Lucario. Yeah, it was like um, I swear it was like Machamp or something. It was something super obscure. Yeah. Um, well, Japan well. is Eevee though, which yeah. I think is part of the reason I want to go to Japan because I know that they're going like, to yeah. live well, up to all my merch dreams. It's <laughs> also almost become like a second uh, spin rack. Giratina V, one of the chase cards. Um, yeah, it's almost become like a second mascot for him. Yeah, it is. Um, Squabbit. Eevee is king, I agree. I, um, <laughs> I'm very excited to... Like, because the Pokemon Cafe has, like, little Eevee things, Esper, Earth and Steelstone, where you can get, like, you can get, like, the little food. Hello, that is Magda, the troublemaker. <laughs> Hello. Drifloon, word here. We, um, yeah, no, it's been, uh, I'm very excited, right? Ready and Alakazam and Reuniclus. <laughs> no, I love, I think, because the Pokemon Cafe has, like, you can choose the, the Pikachu mm. meal or the Eevee. Yeah. Yeah. I so the down one downside is I'm vegetarian, so I have to be like, okay, which one is? Hopefully, there's a little oddish meal or something for me, like you know. I mean, I think in. you could if you get a latte or a hot drink, you yeah. can choose any of the Pokemon. To put yeah. On top. I so. I hope they have stats on there. Which one? Uh, Roserade, Trainer Gallery. Follow. I hope they have stats. To be like, you are the first person to select cr Cricket Tune. You <laughs> freak, like. Fampy, unknown V. Yeah, yeah yellow borders. Uh, yeah, oh, no yellow borders, borders. Sorry, it's back to. It's gonna be so strange. That's yeah. how I like tell my Japanese cards apart from my normal yeah. cards. <laughs> I mean, uh, obviously, also the language, but. Can enter, but when you're just looking at them, like if you're going that quickly through them, you know, you'd you wouldn't know what to do. But sorting them should be a little bit Hiyama. easier as well if you yeah. sort them by set because they're changing the... They're not doing symbols anymore. They're doing, like, um, letter and numbering for each set. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. It's so hard when you're picking singles to, like, give to a customer to be like, what set is Weird Small Islands? And yes. it's like, that's oh Guardians God. Rising. Oh, okay. Crop yeah. it's like, I swear there's, like, in the Sword and Shield era, there's three that I look at and could swear they're the same. Yes. But they're not. <laughs> Uh, Rain Holucha and Word Air V. Oh, it's um, Decidueye. I'm very excited. It should be. It should be good. Like I'm, they're making so many good choices, which, like compared to Magic, you know, more while. Kira and V Max. How long have we got till it drops now? I think I think they're letting uh, the 
Crown Zenith breathe a little bit, which is good. Yep, Radiant yep. Jirachi. Yeah, I think it's, it might be March or April. Dropping Rainbow Wares is a good choice. Mimikyu. Oh, I love a Mimikyu. 31st of next month, so 31st of March. I mean, that oh. sounds correct. More Pico. Assuming no delays. I feel like Crown Zenith deserves the time yeah, to sort of you know, let it breathe. <laughs> Pikachu. Kind of bouncing between sets here, forgetting which uh, one is which. Vespiquen. Flapple Trainer Gallery. Tysplosion Hollow. Gardevoir Trainer Gallery. That is an amazing card. That is beautiful. Yeah, I, I just can't wait for more, like, nice cards of Pokemon that aren't at the final stage. Yeah. That I think is good. Zamazenta V. Like, you know, we obviously mentioned the Ralts one earlier. Like, you know, if your favourite Pokemon's Curlia, one, you're probably a freak. But two, Phalanx, Trainer Gallery. Um, two is, uh, like, you might be able to finally get your Pokemon a nice card. Magneton, Hollow Bassiodon. I feel like I, I love Curlia because of... Um, one of my favourite in Pokemon Go, because oh, when yes. you go to catch them, they're doing like little turns, and oh, it's yes. so cute. Cramorant. <laughs> uh, Same with, I think Phalanx has a, a special place in my heart, because that was like my first Pokemon on Pokemon Go that could actually like hold its own in a fight. <laughs> Fletchling Crocodile, <laughs> I get that. All right, yeah, th that was one of the funnest things about travelling when it came out. You're like, oh yes, I can finally go to France and get Mr. Mime, Keldeo. I never, like, it makes so much sense they'd have missed them. I'm in France. Yeah. Never something I thought about, though. Shove it. I'm paying $50 a minute to be on Wi-Fi, to be on, like, my own data there. <laughs> my miracle. Magnezone. Yeah, it's been, um, it's been good. I feel like Pokemon have made a lot of right choices, which is, you know, yeah. down I feel like they've it's been really been growing. I'm so yeah. excited for next lot of things going uh, Pikachu V, again, one of the very cool trainer galleries. Gengar. But yeah, Gengar definitely becoming a bit more of a mascot for Pokemon. Like, you know, they've got, obviously, the Squishmallow. If you're going to release two, you wouldn't think uh, Gift Energy, Zoroark V-Star. You wouldn't think that Gengar is number one. You know? Like, obviously, Pikachu is an obvious choice. Yes. But Gengar is number two? Durant? Like, I feel like over the past few years, a few people have told me, like, yeah. how great yeah. Gengar is. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, whatever. And yeah. now they're, like, finally, like... It's like, here you go, you want Gengar? Here he is, a Molga. And now you can get Pikachu everywhere, but it's a lot harder to get Gengar. Yeah. I think all the Gengar Squishmallows are the ones that have sold out now. Oh, if you want one that's been chewed on by my dog, it's, you know, <laughs> you can pay the premiums. Uh, mischievous. Jesus, Bailey. Reggie Rock. What is, what is wrong with you? That's a timeout. You see what I mean? This is like nice guy a lot of the time. Other times, little gremlin. Uh, Gliscor, Drapey on V. And he also forgets that with Restream, you can't, like, hiding your uh, messages doesn't work because it saves it forever. Yep, yep. Um, you know, it. You cannot see, like, there's no retraction. Oh, and so anytime anyone talks shit so they, or says something wrong, it's there for me forever. I can screenshot it. I can blackmail them with it in several years' time. Nice. Uh, leafy camo poncho. Got a little file for everyone Yeah, that's chat. it. You know? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure people definitely have uh, files for me, so it's uh, Hippodon. Cleavor Vista, Ooh. the rainbow rare. You know what? I'm also glad they're gone. I'm, I'm team anti-rainbow. I, I do enjoy the odd rainbow, but I feel Probably. like if we get some cooler arts... Yeah, a Ranguru V. There's a lot of Pokemon that looks nice on, but, you know, I don't think of rainbows when I think of Cleavor. No, I think of, you know, p potentially beheading me in a weird cave. Candice, Reshiro and V. Maggie, we don't need to go into that. That's a, that's a, um, that's a story that I'll let progress on its own, Haunter. 
um, Bailey's food choices may scare you, may scare you away. away. <laughs> Hypno? Alol and Vulpix oh, V-Star. Oh See what I mean? Like, it's so good that Vulpix got a V-Star. Stunning. Oh, especially Alol and Vulpix. Yes. So good. I thought that was going to move into, like, mascot territory. Yeah. Because, like, it was getting very popular. Banets, Trainer Gallery. Oh, nice. And Giratina V-Star. Oh, uh, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even start, Sebastian. Vulpix. Normal Vulpix. Normal Vulpix. No, normal Vulpix underrated. I agree. I feel like there are so many, like, normal cards that are not worth anything. But yeah. they're still beautiful to look at. Well, uh, there's, I know there's people who collect all the ones that can't... Hey, there's Cricketune V. Nice. He's back. And uh, Lol and Vulpix V. Um, I know people who do, like, the... Um, the ones that look like plasticine. Uh, Kamado, I'll try and find one. Lilligan V. When I see one, I'll uh, mention it. The ones that look like they are little plastic figures in the real world. I know a lot of people who collect those. Uh, Cleavor. Origin form Palkia V. I think that's a big chase card for the water type Ooh, there. That is a cool card. Yeah, I know. It looks very uh, like the inside of Yugi's Millennium Puzzle. Yeah, it's so trippy. Yeah, they look like Play-Doh. I think I know the ones you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, like I there's a like couple like every set. Pokemon Go. Uh, Roselia. Oh, trust me, the second I'm like, yeah, I like these. A net. Not see them. There you go. Congratulations, Water Type, which is uh, Matthew Jackson. In K. We'll, we'll see one pop up. Also, the ones that are real abstract art as well. They're super cool. Uh, Gallade. So you can. Uh, a lot of the base tends to double up. Uh, Silcoon. Yeah, I did. I ended up buying an awful lot of um, Pokemon Go boosters. Oh, and yes. And that was out, out, which meant I ended up with a ridiculous amount of it was Bulbasaur, Numel, and Bidoof. I have so many, oh, yes. so I just started painting them all. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, and by painting, I don't mean in a cool way. I mean adding legs and fishnets to heel <laughs> and heels to them. <laughs> See that? Because I thought it would be funny. That is funny. <laughs> well, you did mention Sexy Magic Harp earlier. Radiant Gardevoir. Yes, yes. I did do a, a big piece of art of that. Um, that is brilliant. I'm not sure if the world needs to see Radigan. it, but it usually features in the back of my stream. So <laughs> it's a reason to come and see or stay that, away. That's it. Although <laughs> maybe you'll see the Sexy Magic Harp, Miltank. Maybe it'll awaken something in someone. Yes. Well, I think I did a sexy snob once as well. That's currently in my bathroom. Um, that's so if any guests come that's over, that's Darkrai. what they're going to be greeted with. That's a um, pal sand. Yeah, that's uh, that is brilliant. There's so many people who do like the extension artwork, though. Yeah. Like that is amazing. I've seen some really cool. Like where they expand, like the background. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. One of our uh, friends of the show, Lisa, she does that sort of stuff. Metagross, yes. Crobat. Um, yeah, just in it's incredible. Paragon 2, Glastriere. Kaleido and ho -Oh Tell you what, this is going to end up being perfect timing, Rabash. <laughs> Opening them at a perfect rate. That's it. I uh, like. I used to time myself cast form because it, I used to be so obsessed with it. Just be like, how quick can I get through this? <laughs> Phantom, Enamorous V, uh, least favourite Pokemon of all time. Oh, I don't have really? many, like, I have my favourites, I have the ones I like, then I have the rest. And then you skip a few, skip like a million miles, and Enamorous V is down the bottom. I don't know what it is, just something about it. That is fair. I can't. Well, I can't remember who okay. my least favorite is, but I know that they were in Arceus. Oh And yes. I know that every time I came across them, I wanted to cry. Fennekin, I hate the little ice cube head Pokemon as well. Oh, really? I love those. They're so cute. He, I don't mind him when he's like not got the ice cube on his head, Toxicroak. No, wait, I don't like him when he has, when he doesn't have it. Yeah. Like the ice cube is fine, but then you see his real head and you're like, ah, oh, listen, put Look, it back on, brother. That's fair. Put your hat back on. Yeah. 
Lantern. Unknown V, alternate R. Beautiful card there that for the psychic stunning. type. Um, it's quite cool. The one of the versions of this, the V Star version, spells out V Star with unknowns. Oh. I thought I thought this might spell something. Oh, it does. Because that's V I C T O R Y. I think that's a victory symbol. Oh, it spells out the name of the attack. Oh, that's okay. so cool. I didn't. I kind of just thought they were random ones, but now I've put it together. This is this is a discovery. Wow, there you go. This is, I love these little hidden parts. Yeah, I know, McGinn. All the little, little Easter eggs. I didn't realize that they all that, that actually spelled something. I've I've looked at it so many times looking to spell something, and just now, like my eyes have been like, oh my god. Uh, Primordial Altar. As you can see, the two big troublemakers, Bailey and Magda, often argue in the chat. One of the mods will usually handle that for you, though. Fair enough, fair enough. There we go. DDC is one of our mods. He will, uh, he takes care of him. Uh, for a Sade girl, for the supporter. Ooh. I quite like this one. It has, like, the almost swirls in the background there. That one definitely suits the rainbow as yeah, well. Yeah, ex exactly. This is a perfect one. Uh, Teddy Ursa, Darkrai Vista. A Radiant Steelix. I get obsessed every now and again with like Pokemon ROM hacks. Yep. And just do nothing but play them. Ducklet. <laughs> I've been looking at adding those little um, are they stream avatars where your chat oh, can be like Pokemon on the bottom yeah. of the stream. And you can make them fight to the death. Yeah. And then, like, I've seen this thing where, like, certain streamers will have it where, like, a Pokemon just pops up in the chat and everyone tries to catch it. Switch yeah. cart, Adaman. Like, streams are so... There's so many, like, new interactive things you can do. Yeah. Yeah, Mega. Uh, V-Star, Samurai. Like, all the games that have plugins to play with people. Yeah. Um... Like all the rock? games you can play while you're in chat. Yeah. Yeah. Good Vista. I just V, that is to say. Uh, Ferrothorn, Hesuian, Arcanine V. Professor Laventon. A Basket Legion. Nova. This has been a good break. Really good. Uh, Kingdra and Decidue IV. I love that Kingdra as well. Claire, like probably that. one of the most underrated characters. See, again, Kingdra to me looks like a seahorse and anything that's in the ocean, I love it. So. That's it. <laughs> Sweet honey. Last couple back. This has worked out perfectly. I can't believe how well this worked out. Uh, Lampent, Delphox V. Ooh, that is a character I still have not worked out on Pokemon Unite. Yeah, Pokemon Unite's lineup is strange. Torkoal? Yeah, I feel so like I always, I, like I stop playing it for a bit and then I come back in and they've added a bunch more and I'm like, I don't know yeah. what <laughs> I'm meant to do anymore. What is the meta? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I feel like I'd never look at the meta. I'm just like, I'm going to play Sylveon. <laughs> yep, I'm going to play the ones I love. Pharisee, Reggie Lecky, VMAX. Two to go. Mr. Mime. And finally. I didn't even need to go to France. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good callback. We'll slow roll this one. It's uh, Malamar. The... Strange haircut on that fella, and just a talent flame. And that is that for Pokemon Trio 12721. Done. Nice. That is